sure. Gonna explain something. Because I'm watching all of you. I'm having a lot of fun doing it too. Let me, uh, uh, you never use a clinician. Uh, come here again, uh, Chris. Now, I've been doing this for a while now, so I kind of know what to expect if you're new at it, at this approach to it, and I'm seeing what I expected. There's a tendency, and I can't tell you why, but I did it too, to break this balance and automatically start trying to take them down in control. You want to attempt to work at your shoulder level, period. Now, that doesn't mean he won't take it down. Well, he did it, not me. So I still am really stable. I really have good balance and good posture. He's lost a little bit. You feel it? So he might take it down. He has to stop to get me, though. Or he might take it up. Same thing. He still has to stop to turn and get me. So don't try to make any of this work. Allow it to work. So you try to work your shoulder level. I don't care what he does. Bam. Does that make sense? The other thing is, and I, I expected to see it even sooner, and I didn't, is I'm going to attack you. So he does something now. Secondary concentration takes over. Because anyone that's from a green belt higher starts developing muscle memory and subconscious self-defense. This is a self-defense art, so your body's not going to let any bad thing happen to it. Well, you have to give it up. You have to let them have you at first. Carl used to say, invest in your losses. So what I see and expected to is this. He starts doing something, and right away I'm going to counter it. Or right away I'm going to change the rules. Well, now you're doing Ron Dory. Invest in the time to think this is totally worthless and why are we even doing this crap invest in the time to do it anyway and you'll start to understand because you went through the same thing in the 17 hell you went through the same thing in the releases well I've got this why are we still doing it well you don't have it at all yeah. uh, Jim will tell you a lot of years ago it wasn't Jim it was another, another guy but they came to me and they said we'd like you to have a Saturday of just high ranks, just black belts only, and would you do the, the highest level stuff we can do? And I said, sure. Three or four guys were pissed as hell because I said, okay, we're going to do the walk. Well, we know the walk. I said, fine, show it to me. I won't mention names because I love him. He did the first three movements and I gave him six corrections. And he really thought he was doing a great job and it, most people he was doing a great job but he didn't know the little tiny things that make great big differences now I can make this even simpler by describing the two breaks we use just be static don't move this is a goblet step isn't it you're using the walk this is a goblet step isn't it and then I just keep moving now in the 17, let me use Oshi Teoshi as an example because it's a good one. This is right out of the walk. And this is right out of the walk. So you have this moving out of the walk, this moving out of the walk, and this moving out of the walk. Three of the first steps of the walk, both sides, that's how you're doing Shomanatha, uh, Oshi Teoshi. But if I goblet step here, and he comes after me, he has to lift this arm to get me because he has to counterbalance his body or he'll throw himself. So, and another thing I'm terrible about, I think I mentioned this last night, I've worked on this so much that sometimes I break with this hand and sometimes I break with this hand and I don't realize I'm switching them. Because I'm so used to switching hands. So, come in here, he lifts that See him lift that arm? I didn't do that. So we come in. He lifts it. I switch hands. Now, I don't push. I just keep moving until he falls down. Now, if you're going very fast, you'll fall down real quick. You can see that, I'm sure. But some people, like uh, one of my students, Celise, she just is five feet tall. And she's 90 pounds. And we have a guy there who's six foot five. How in the world is she going to make this work? 
I mean, she just can't. But he's a pretty good uke when he tries. And if he tries to get her, this arm comes up and I just keep moving. I'm not pushing anything. I think we went through this last night. If you fight it, you'll think they're pushing on you, but you're actually pushing on them. Did, did I mention that last night? You get here and he doesn't want to fall. And I'm just going to keep him. Now, he's being really strong. I'm not. But he's still going to put himself down sooner or later. Because every time he falls, I just don't let him back up. And it's important to understand that because you're going to tell your partner, you're cranking on me. No, he's cranking on me. And I'm not going to do it tonight because I'm tired, but I've done it with Moose. And if I keep moving as big as he is, he's going to fall down. Well, Moose realized that he just said, hell, I'll just sidestep you. So he sidestepped me. Well, I can sidestep too. So it won't work. So play again with that a little bit, just a few minutes.